latest news on the Dana Ireland case making, well, national news. The Schweitzer brothers, Ian and Albert, in court today asking to be declared innocent. Now, Ireland's 1991 murder and cold case, it has been talked about for decades now. We're coming up on 33 years this Christmas since her murder. And joining us now to take a deeper legal dive is attorney Megan Cow. Megan, thank you so much for joining us. You know, we want to start with the latest developments today. For what kind of outcomes can we possibly see in the Schweitzer brothers' push to have first their innocence declared and all evidence disclosed? So the two potential outcomes are, one, the judge is going to find that they are, in fact, actually innocent, or two, he's going to make the finding that they are not actually innocent. Are the Schweitzers completely cleared in this case? I mean, I, I know that they spent some time in jail, but are they cleared? Is that the right word? They're cleared in respect to criminal case. So they cannot be charged again. They cannot do any further jail time. They cannot get into trouble for any alleged actions. And, you know, now that Big Island police have actually named a new suspect in this investigation, what does that mean for this case? Well, it's kind of difficult because he's now passed, but the police department can continue to do its investigation to try to get closure for the family so that they can finally come up with some answers. But um, given his death, you know, he's the only one that knew what happened. And so it's going to be difficult for them to come to a final conclusion. As an attorney, th we're talking 32, almost 33 years since this case. Does it amaze you the DNA evidence and how that pointed out a another person that's involved in this case? So we actually already knew that there was DNA that was identified. It's just that we never had a match. But the furtherance in technology now has led us to that match and a lot of investigation on the defense attorney's part. And so the DNA from the scene, you know, it ties Albert Loro Jr. in this case, but not necessarily to the crime. So what do investigators actually do with this evidence? You know, that's the question right now, and I think that's what's parting the ways between the parties. Um, the defense wants to believe that he committed the rape and the murder, while the prosecution's theory of the case is that he may have had sex with her, but they can't prove beyond a reasonable doubt that he murdered her. With this, with now the Schweitzers, could they bring a case against the county of Hawaii for, for wrongful prosecution? You know what I mean? I mean, uh, um, not a criminal case, but, uh, uh, but liability. And Absolutely. you owe us money. Absolutely. Absolutely. So our Hawaii legislature has given us the opportunity to bring a case against the state of Hawaii. It's maxed at $50,000 per year, plus an up to $100,000 extraordinary circumstances lump sum payment. Or the defendants can bring a case in federal court. Well, we will have to just wait and see how this all unfolds. Thank you so much for joining us, Attorney Megan Cow, and shedding some more light on this investigation. We really appreciate you coming by. Thanks, Thank Megan. you.